So this is the start of everything every day at MNR. Approximately three, sometimes four truckloads of steel are delivered here per day. And it has to go through these saws. There's five saws, including the aluminum saw. Matter of fact, there's a steel truck here now. Where does the steel come from? Uh, locally. That's why we're in Chicago. That's central steel there. There's uh, three mills within 20 miles. Okay. So we're taking in a load of steel right now. So our crane will go out, pick it up, drop it. This stuff has to get cut because there's another truck coming right behind him. So these guys all have cut tickets. And on the cut tickets, he's, he's cutting bundles, OK? On this guy's cut ticket, it will tell him how many pieces to cut. Here's a drawing of the part. So this is a, this is a top cross tube for a um, alpha. Drawing of the part. Now here, here's his order. He's got to make 24, and he's got one minute per unit to cut it. So we know to a T exactly how long. And every part's that way. Cut according to the stall, deburr, hand deburring, break all sharp edges, mill according to drawing, drill tap, send to welding department. So we're saying that's how much time you got it to get from here to the welding department. I mean, everything. <laughs> These parts come in, they got to be cut because he's got to empty his space out. Now, our flow pattern is once you cut something, it either has to go to the machine shop to be machine, or it's got to go to welding, and then from welding to be machine. So this is the welding department. It's isolated from the rest of the plant because of the uh, light of welding. There are 40 welders and grinders in that department. Wow. We're going to take you through there, but you'll see there's a door opening here and a door opening over there because sometimes this has to go to the machine shop and then into welding and then sometimes it has to go from the saws into welding and then into the machine shop. So this is the only place in the company that parts travel two directions. So in order to make sure that we're maintaining the integrity of getting things through properly, we actually have cameras set up throughout the plant and we're monitoring the parts flowing back and forth. So at every morning, the group leaders meet and say, hey, instead of you moving your parts through at 715, can you do it at 719? Because at 719, I don't have any parts coming out. Yeah. So even the routing internal gets changed. 